In example 3, we want to answer the following questions based on the diagram below. This diagram is in your notes, so if you have a digital copy, you already have it. Note that the measure of angle FHE equals the measure of angle BHG equals the measure of angle AHF, which all equals 90 degrees. So let's mark this. The moment you're given anything that's not already marked in your diagram, you want to make sure that you mark it. FHE is 90 degrees. BHG is 90 degrees. And AHF is 90 degrees. So this will be important. Okay, let's answer our questions. Because these all use if, it means each problem is its own. We basically need to erase their screen after we finish A in order to start problem B. But for all five problems, these right angles are true. <clears throat> Okay, problem A, if measure of angle 3 is 30 degrees, then the measure of angle 6, okay, let's see, 3 and 6 are vertical angles, they have the same measure, so the measure of angle 6 is 30 degrees. Now that we've answered question A, I'm going to erase my blue markings and move on to B. If the measure of angle BHF is 115 degrees, okay, BHF is 115 then the measure of angle 3. Okay, it's a little hard to figure out 3 right now, so I'm going to just start figuring out what I can. I know angle 7 and 6 together are 90 degrees, which means the remaining angle, angle 1, has to be 115 minus 90, or 25 degrees. Okay, let's see. Uh, I can tell that since 7 and 6 are 90 degrees, then 1 plus 2 has to be 90 degrees, which means angle 2 is 65 degrees. Also, if angles 1 and 7 are 90 degrees, then 2 and 3 are 90 degrees, which means if 2 is 65, then 3 is 25. So angle 3 is 25 degrees. There's a lot of different ways you could have figured this out. This was just one of them. Another probably easier way would have been to say, again, we already would know that since the entire angle here is 115 degrees, then we would know angle 1 is 25 degrees. Also notice, angle 1 and 7 are 90 degrees, which means angle 7 is 65 degrees. If 7 is 65, and 7 and 6 are complementary, then 6 is 25 degrees. 6 and 3 are vertical angles, so 3 would be 25 degrees. That was just two different ways to solve for the measure of angle 3. Okay, let's erase all of our green markings and try problem C now. If measure of angle 6 is 27 degrees, and let's change the color here, then the measure of angle 1 is what we're looking for. Okay, so measure of angle 6 is 27 degrees. This tells me 7 is complementary and is 63 degrees. <clears throat> it tells me 3 is vertical and is 27 degrees. It also tells me that 4, which is vertical from 7, is 63 degrees. Now let's see what else we can figure out. All right, I know that 1 and 7 are complementary. So if 7 is 63 degrees, then 1 is 27 degrees. Okay, erasing the purple and on to problem D. If DHF, so here's DHF, is 133 degrees, I'm searching for the measure of angle 2. Okay, so DHF as a whole is 133. If I know angle H here is 90, so the measure of angle 4 has to be 43 degrees. If 4 is 43, then let's see, 3 and 4 are right angles. So 3 has to be 47 degrees. And then 2 and 3 are right angles form a right angle, so 2 has to be 43 degrees. 